we are at the banks right now negotiating. The contractor has finished all the paperwork, architect, everything that we need. They're just waiting on us. And what we're doing, we're using Holy Ghost and common sense. The Word of God says, is a wise man to sit down first to count the cost. We can pull the trigger right now for them to start the construction, which would, which would take place uh, next year, which is a, uh, only a few weeks. But we don't want to be, in other words, we don't want to have such a payment that we have to be hoping and a wishing and a praying. How I many know there's no joy in that? You got to live from one paycheck to the other paycheck. And if something happened, glory be to God then you get to worry. I, we don't want to worry. We don't want to lose no sleep. This is what we need. The executive board and I, we have met, and we have ran the numbers ourselves. We need to raise 90 more thousand dollars. We need $90,000. Dr. Sandra and I, we just put 2000 towards the 90,000. Our Apostolic Hub Church in Tennessee has put finances towards. As a matter of fact, they have made a pledge and they're just waiting on things to come together. We need to raise that $90,000 by the end of December. I know, I know. Man, holidays is upon us. This is the season. Man, isn't that just like God, man? So if it's going to be raised, you know, it have to be a miracle when people are, are just, you know, uh, buying presents for their loved ones to celebrate. But we need that $90,000 so that we can go ahead and do what we need to do. The $90,000 is going to help, to help us to have a total of $400,000 so that our payments will be comfortable. Amen. We don't want to put so much into the pavement until we cannot enjoy the building. And we don't want to put so much on the building that we cannot appreciate God. We don't want to lose focus. Pastor Neal, I believe he has the blueprints. And if you look at the blueprint, amen, I think he's sending one up now. You will see the floor plan. Glory be to God. This is where we at. So all of our viewers, those who have partnered with us, we ask you to consider to pray about it. Let the Lord speak to you. Amen. This building, uh, the contractors call the building a the, the sanctuary the, uh, or the place that we're going to fellowship in. They call it the um, uh, sanctuary, but we call it the multi-purpose room. Why we call it the multi-purpose room? We don't want to call it the sanctuary because there are going to be other activities that are going to, that's going to take place. We're going to be doing training. Those of you that know the personality of Acts Ministries, it's three strong gifts that we operate in, if I can say that. First is intercession. We pray all the time. We have our Monday night prayer. Our I-1 intercessors, they're praying on Tuesday nights or Tuesday mornings, praise God, I'm sorry, at, at, one, uh, at 5 o'clock in the morning on Tuesdays, 5 o'clock. And our intercessors, other intercessors, they are praying every Friday at 5 o'clock in the morning. And we have our prayer time, intercession. Acts Ministries was birthed through by prophetic prayer. The other one is the prophetic. We have had schools of the Holy Spirit expose people to an atmosphere of the prophetic. Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. And many people have came out of Acts Ministries flowing prophetically by the spirit of the Lord.
even young kids flowing prophetically, moving in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, helping people to know how the Holy Spirit is moving upon them and moving with them in Jesus' name. And so all of this is so important, and we're going to uh, have conferences to bring in guest speakers, um, especially in this time of season. A lot of people are yet experiencing grief. So we br we're going to bring in grief counselor. Our overseer uh, specializes in grief. Uh, we're going to uh, do things with the community. We're going to partner with Eagle Lake, and we want to uh, put into the community. We want to touch the community. We're going to do workshops for the community to help and believe in the Lord to have after-school care for kids to come and have people in place that is able to help them with their homework. Amen. Praise God. How many know there's a lot of distractions that are out there? And uh, we want to feed our people. Praise the Lord. So there's a lot of things that is on the agenda, not just to fellowship on Sundays and Wednesdays. Amen. But to put back into the community to empower the, our community. Amen. The apostolic and the prophetic way. Let me say it like this. To empower the community the kingdom way. Yes, Amen. The kingdom way. And so we ask you to partner with us, pray about it, and uh, they will put up the different ways that you can give. We're really believing the Lord by the end of uh, December that we will have the $90,000 so that we can go to the bank and say, this is what we're going to put up front. We are ready now, and we'll go ahead and sign the papers and get it all done. I believe that you will agree with me that this is a smart thing to do. Praise the Lord. To sit down first and count the cost. Amen. It's not worth having uh, an astronomical payment that you have to hoping and the wishing and the praying. And if for some reason you can't meet that money or you're getting close to it and seem like the finances haven't come, then you go into that weariness. God have not given us the spirit of weariness. Then doubt begin to set in and oppression. And if you're not careful, depression, then you get upset. No, we want to continue to have the joy of the Lord and know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen? Amen. So we thank God for you, and we want to pray right now. Father, Lord, we thank you for our viewers. We thank you, Lord God, for those who have partnered with us, and we thank you, Lord God, that as they pray, Lord God, that you will minister to them, that they will partner with us, Lord God. Lord, that the kingdom of heaven can touch earth, Lord, so that we can be about the Father's business. And, Lord, we just honor you, Father, that as we go forth, Father, we're going to teach, train, and activate your people for the work of the ministry in this earth realm so that they can impact their communities. They can impact their homes. They can impact their jobs, their businesses. And wherever, Lord God, you have caused them to trot, Lord God, we thank you that they will be salt, seasoned, Lord God, for the master's use. We honor you. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be on the Lord's side and cause this vision to come to pass. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. And it is in Christ Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Amen.